Can't wait to show you uh, everything we have in store for tonight. My name is Ms. Greenleaf. Um, I am the director of the fifth grade band um, and also an assistant director to Mr. Aaron Bush at the high school. And I just want to personally welcome you to one of my personal favorite concerts of the year. Um, Bandorama is a, a very unique type of concert. Um, it is a concert in which we actually show you um, our instrumental curriculums, grade five through 12. So we encourage you tonight to not only think about this performance as, like, as an entertaining performance, we hope it is entertaining, of course, but we really encourage you to listen deeper and um, discover what, what we teach on a daily basis. Um, uh, this concert really has a, a great way of portraying um, how our students progress from beginner instrumentalists to 12th grade solo playing. Um, and I hope, I hope you enjoy and get to catch some of that from tonight. I'm going to start it off, of course, with our beginner band. These students have actually only been playing their instruments since September, when they just started this year. This is only our second concert ever, and we are very excited to be playing some real music for you. Um, uh, we will start off with a fifth grade favorite called Zombie Stomp. You can tell they remember. We'll continue um, actually with a trombone feature. So it's going to feature our back row trombone and baritone students. It's called Taking My Walrus for a Walk. I think you can guess who the walrus is. Thirdly, we'll play our song called Android Attack, and we'll, we'll finish with a piece called Geology, the Study of Rock. And I'd like to introduce the fifth grade band. <laughs>
How about one more round of applause for our beginner instrumentalists? Thank you very much. For those of you who may have heard us in December, uh, it's quite a different sound. I think we could agree. So, congrats to you, fifth graders. All right, well, we're going to move uh, over to the sixth grade. I'd actually like to introduce a member of our FMA, our Foxborough Music Association, is going to tell you a little bit about the association. Okay. This is going to be Dale Anderson. Please welcome. Good evening and welcome to Bandorama. I'm Dale Anderson. I'm the president of the Foxborough Music Association. This is Jen Hoyt, who's our Vice President, and I just wanted to let you folks know that a little bit about what we do. We're a 5013C nonprofit, and we are dedicated to promoting music in the schools, and we do everything we can to help out the directors, and we do most of our fundraising through a sponsorship drive, and also other little fundraisers we do throughout the year. We meet the second Monday of every month, unless there's an odd holiday in there. And our next meeting is April 7th, 8th. And any, any of you, no matter what age group you're in, are welcome to join us. We meet in the band room at the high school. Um, we, do just, we do scholarships, approximately $5,000 a year we do for scholarships. Get your things in. There's, an essay, um, there's auditions. And that is going, the scholarship applications have to be submitted very soon. The auditions are after April vacation. The Monday after April Monday vacation. Monday after April vacation. And it's worth, it's really worth the while for the audition. It also gives the student a chance to take part in an audition process, which is a good experience for them at any age. And what else we got? Uh, Micah's coming up this, not this weekend, the following weekend, which we are host school for Micah every year, which is great for us. And it's always a good weekend, and we usually end up having quite a few bands in it. The chorus always performs at Norwood High School. And, you know, if you can come in and take in Micah, and especially if you have, a, obviously, if you have a student in it, it's worth the, definitely worth the price of admission. I think that's about all we have, but you are all welcome to come to any of our meetings. Like I said, they're the second Monday of every month, and you can also check us out on our website, foxformusic.com, or we're also on Facebook. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks, guys. Just thought I'd share that the FMA was actually recently awarded um, the MMEA Advocacy Award, which is actually a very high honor um, that awards, you know, nonprofit organizations that help better um, music education around the state. So congratulations to the FMA. No big deal. All right. Without further ado, I'd like to um, introduce Mr. Glynn and the sixth grade concert band. They will be performing Infinity Concert March, Peace, and Latin Fire.
very much, sixth grade band. You might notice um, in the sixth grade band that we have um, increased the amount of instruments we, sh we have in the band. So we have things like tubas, um, tenor saxophones, oboes, um, and a variety of percussion instruments, which is kind of a new addition to the sixth grade band from the fifth grade band. So nice job with that. As we transition um, into our next group, this is the seventh and eighth grade um, performing ensembles combining. Um, next weekend, we heard FMA talk a little bit about the MICA Festival. MICA stands for Massachusetts Instrumental and Choral Conductors Association. And they host one of the states, and some people say one of the country's best music festivals around. The festival includes a, a, a performance of about 20 minutes, followed by a clinician um, where the students actually get to work with uh, an adjudicator that the MICA actually flies in from around the country. These are often high, uh, I'm sorry, these are often college band directors or orchestra directors or even beyond college, some uh, famous, you know, educators from around the globe even that actually come to share their, their education and their knowledge with our students. The uh, 7th and 8th grade orchestra as well as the 7th and 8th grade chorus also do the MICA Festival. It's a, a really important thing for our, our curriculum here. Um, and we invite you all to come check it out. It is here next Saturday um, at the high school auditorium. I and mean, you can come watch. The 7th and 8th graders will be playing at um, 8.30 a.m., which means they should try to get around this here uh, around 7.30 for their warm-up at 8. Everybody is invited to come uh, check them out. There, there is an admission fee, but we promise the fee is totally worth it, and it lasts for um, the whole festival, the whole weekend. Our high school ensembles also perform at the MICA Festival, if you have any interest in coming and checking them out. Um, at the end of the festival, the students are awarded a medal. And the highest medal, being a gold medal, actually um, puts students, uh, groups, into a lottery to play at Symphony Hall in Boston, which, speaking from experience, is one of the coolest places to perform on my instrument I've ever done in my life. So it's so worth it um, in that way. This good? So this is the seventh and eighth grade band. They're going to perform their MICA program for you, which includes Alamo March, A Song for Friends, and Lincoln Celebration Overture. This is the seventh and eighth grade band directed by Robert Glynn and Donnie Albro.
Jasmine and Eighth Grade Band. Thank you. We wish you all good luck next Saturday at your festival. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the Foxborough High School Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Aaron Bush and assistant directed by myself and Mr. Albro. I was inspired by Ms. Tadoldi at our String Fest, which is the string orchestra version of Bandorama um, a, a couple of weeks ago, and I decided that it would be worth it to share some information about the high school band. Um, I actually grew up in town. Um, I went to the fifth grade band. I played clarinet and continued through the program, of course, up into high school and to obviously beyond, and I'm back here teaching. And it's a very interesting perspective of working um, in a place where you grew up. Um, and one of the things I find that has not changed is some kind of rumors, I guess, about the high school band. So I'm going to share with you some information about these students and about the band. And hopefully we can all have uh, the same information, which would be great. So the high school band is made up of um, students grades 9 through 12. So I'm going to go quick. Ready, guys? Can you raise your hand if you're in ninth grade? 10, 11, and 12. So we have about an even spread between 9, 10, and 11, 12. Um, it's one of the only classes uh, available, um, other than or orchestra, chorus, and jazz band, jazz choir, um, in which all of the grades can be in the same class. So obviously, we don't have a, a math class in which it's 9 through 12, but here we do. Not only that, but it's kind of a teamwork type of, of class. And um, we get to work along with all types of people, all types of students, male, female, and everything. And that's a, such a, a fabulous thing about a music group, performing ensemble. Um, these students are not just music nerds like me. Um, they actually have other things they do in their life, and that is great, and we encourage that beyond belief. We want our students to be involved in everything they want to be involved in. So students, raise your hand, high school friends, if you are involved in any extracurricular activities that have absolutely nothing to do with music. OK, great. Raise your hand if you do extracurricular activities that do have to do with music. Great, we cool. that's awesome, that's cool with us. Okay, raise your hand if you're in the drama club, uh, if you're on the Honor Society, National Honor Society, great. Um, or any of the Spanish National Honor Society, it's like a bunch of them, awesome, great, excellent. Um, raise your hand if you get really good grades. Ah, good, be honest, okay, great. Um, raise your hand if you play a sport. Okay, great. Musicians can play sports in our, in our high school. They can play sports. Raise your hand if you play one sport. Two sports? Three sports. Some people play three sports and can still do band. That is actually truth, and they are the proof. So if you have any questions, you can ask them, and they'll let you know, okay? How long do we do marching band for? One month. We do marching band for one month, and we transform into a concert band. Um, we also split our, our concert band into two separate performing ensembles. Um, any of you involved in jazz or jazz choir? Okay, great. So uh, we do musical activities, but we do other things as well. Um, and we just want to make sure you see that our goal here is to actually just have well-rounded people that like to perform music and like to share the arts with people. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn the art of performing music, and we hope you enjoy what we're trying to do here, and hopefully you can help me spread the true rumors um, around town about the Foxborough High School Concert Band. Thank you very much. All right, and next I'd like to introduce Mr. Aaron Bush and the Foxborough High School Concert Band.
Foxborough High School Concert Band. It's always so exciting for me to hear um, our beginner band and then our high school band. Um, it just adds so much excitement for me as a teacher, for my students, and what you could do later. And I'll see you then. And it's really exciting for me. So, All right, before we do our last piece, where we're actually all going to play together as one big Foxborough band, um, uh, I'd like to just bring your attention to a couple pages in the program. And these are beautiful programs. And uh, first, if you look at page um, eight, nine, you'll see some biographies of our music staff. Um, we really pride ourselves here on our music staff. Um, we work to be the best music educators we can be. And it, we think it's exciting for you to learn a little bit about us, you know, who your children are spending time with on a regular basis. Um, so please take a second to read about us. Um, and we hope you find something hopefully maybe you didn't know before. And the other thing I'd like to um, bring your attention to is the last few pages of our program where we talk about our two summer programs that we offer here in Foxborough. First is the Summer Instrumental Music and Chorale, uh, which is a middle school primarily uh, music uh, workshop where we kind of um, have some high school students come and counsel our, our younger students. We play some really fun music. We get a chance to do some smaller chamber ensembles and symphony orchestras and all this stuff. We have spirit days. The whole thing is a, a blast. It's a, one of the funnest things I've ever done, actually, in the summer. And we highly encourage you to check it out. It's three weeks, but you do not have to attend all three weeks, though we encourage you to do so if you're available. Um, the camp ends at noon, so that leaves like the rest of the summer day for anything else you want to do. Our other um, workshop is the Jazz Improvisation Workshop. This is a workshop generally for seventh through 12th graders, though we have had some younger students, um, who are interested in learning about the art of improvisation. Um, it is a really crazy camp. We actually have like 12 really well-known jazz musicians from around New England that, that can't wait to come teach at this camp. Um, and if you're in interested in jazz at all, I'd highly encourage you to check it out. Just spending a week with some really amazing jazz musicians is worth it. Just that one week is so worth it. If you have any questions, you can always email any of the teachers and we'll get the information, plus the websites are also on the program. So we'll hope to see you um, at our summer festivals as well. How are we doing? Are we ready? All right, so we've never rehearsed this before with all of us, um, but we are going to play the song called America for you, and we hope you enjoy the 2019 Foxborough Concert Band.
right, let's hear it for the fifth grade band. Do not play. Do not play. Sixth grade band in the direction of Robert Glenn. Seventh and eighth grade band. Foxborough High School concert band. Thank you very much. We appreciate you coming out and spending the night with us and our music. Have an excellent night.